Yo, what is going on everyone? We are back with another SnowRunner mod review and today we're checking out the 2021 Ford F-150 Ultimate Edition from Yap Buddy. Uh, as you can tell, there's a ton of detail in this truck and we're super excited to test it out today. Check it out, see what all this is capable of. It has a lot of options, but do me a huge favor guys, make sure you drop a like on the video and drop a sub on the channel. We're about to jump into it. Alrighty, let's customize up Yeah Buddy's 2021 Ford F-150 Ultimate. I've seen some of the stuff that Yeah Buddy has had created and had other people create and worked on himself and a lot of his stuff turns out really, really nice. So you can see here a ton of detail on the suspension, drive taint, trassy, like everything underneath <laughs> a lot of a lot of detail went into this. We do have three engine options, tow, vanilla, or overpower. <clears throat> I think we're probably going to go with the overpower. We have vanilla, tow, vanilla, and too fast. We also have off-road for the gearbox. We're going to choose the off-road. Suspension, we have tow lifted, trail, tow, suspension. Flex trail, lifted, no damage. Flex perfect, perfect flex, no damage. I think we're going to go with the lifted no damage tires. We got 41 MT Bajas, 41 BFG KO2s, 43 MT Bajas, 43 BFG. Okay, so just the same tires, different sizes. Big Dubs. These tires came from him. Big Dubs is uh, an amazing member of the SnowRunner mod community. He does contribute a lot to a lot of different mods. We're going to take the KO2s. Winch, we have stock. Frame add-ons, we have gooseneck hitch, bed stuff. We're going to go ahead and take the gooseneck hitch, and we're going to take bed stuff. Not a ton of add-ons. There is some different rims, and this is a nice option. We're going to go with the methods. Paint, color-wise, it's very glossy. has that new truck look, which is awesome for some people. Really, uh, it's all about preference here, guys. And we're going to pull it out and see what this truck can do. Alrighty, so first you can tell, um, we have the lifted suspension, but there still is a decent amount of flex here. We're going to back it up. We're going to just travel and enjoy it. It says we have damage, but the suspension is a no damage suspension. So, I'm not entirely sure. I think it's just a conflict with the way the game reads the suspension. And uh, hopefully that's all it is. Yeah, buddy, if you're watching, maybe you can comment below and uh, let me know. If that's why it looks like it's damaged out all the way. Which is good, because a lot of lifted trucks do take damage really fast. Really nice suspension play here. And uh, for having it, having the off-road transmission and uh, the overpowered engine, it really doesn't seem OP at all. <clears throat> for reference, this exact spot is a spot that the Tacoma gets... Uh, almost stuck in pretty frequently. This might be slightly overpowered, but it also does have some really big tires on it, so this kinda, it makes sense performance-wise. The engine sounds sound really nice, too. Let's go ahead and skip time and check out the uh, lighting. So it has a neon green glow pretty much everywhere. And the logo in the tailgate has emissive lighting. That's really nice, also on the fender and the front logo. That is a really nice addition. Interior wise, um, it's not completely finished. It's got the racing seats and everything. So in terms of like the actual interior with the racing seats and the way the console is in the rear and everything, that's a really cool add-on. It has no logo in the front has uh, on the steering wheel and also doesn't look like all the textures have been put in. It's been customized in a lot of ways. Um, and for some reason when you change your viewing angle, it shuts the mirror off. So some, some tiny tidy up issues. Uh, and if you see this, yeah buddy, make sure uh, Make sure you comment below and let us know if there's going to be an update to resolve the mirror issues or if that's just the way it's uh, made for now. Um, radio screen doesn't have anything on it. Gauges don't have anything. The gauges just don't work at all, but this seems like a fairly recent release, I, I guess would be the best way to put it. So there's uh, still tons of time to make those tweaks and adjustments, and, and there's tons of room for improvement. The exterior seems extremely well done. I am puzzled why the uh, trailer hitch is just black. That's been a little bit puzzling too. Um, every piece of it is, and the toolbox almost looks like it's kind of floating. Uh, so that's another thing.
Everything about the exterior turned out really well though, uh, for the most part. I think it'd be cool if you could customize. Also, there's some LED glitching on the driver's side of the middle bar, but it'd be cool if you could customize the lighting so you, like, your players could choose if they wanted a stock look to the lighting or if they wanted it aftermarket. I'm glad to see us uh, struggle a little bit here because it does show, again, that it's, it's not overpowered. Um, as much as it might look like it is, it just doesn't seem to be overpowered. It's good to see balance, especially with the new pickups coming out. There is a lot on SnowRunner that is way too OP in my opinion, and uh, it gets really old after a while. So this is kind of refreshing. I love the roll cage concept as well. Adds something kind of unique uh, to the pickup, especially a pickup like this that's lifted and seems to be made for the heavy duty off-roading you can do here in SnowRunner now. I'm surprised that the off-road transmission doesn't have manual low. High gear is a little bit of a E gear, like it is in a lot of mod trucks. Again, I do want to point out, a lot of what you see on mods is a combination of what the mod developer envisions for his or her mod versus what people enjoy playing with. And there's a balance in there for sure. Um, for yeah, buddy, maybe the high gear is made to be a mobile and maybe gauges don't matter to him. It's not my place to say that it should or shouldn't, but I do think that some details, trailer hitches being black, uh, those things should definitely be fixed up. Most part, though, it seems like a real treat to drive, if anything. And the detail on the suspension with the suspension play, again, is just absolutely incredible. It's really nice to see that detail shine on a, on a newer gen pickup that's now available on SnowRunner. Uh, there isn't a lot of the newer gen stuff, and when you do see it, you do want to see the quality in it. Here's a little bit of a crawling opportunity for us. I could take the easy way, but I think this truck deserves a little bit more of a test. does seem to be really handling this rock quite well. A lot better than I expected initially. It might be stuck between a rock and a hard place. No pun intended. Let's hope the weight's balanced out enough to not just let us drop. There we go. Crawl over these next couple ones. We're almost high center here. I think that'll be alright. put in automatic to breeze past that. The weight seems extremely balanced in this truck, which is really nice to see. I see a lot that are way too top heavy and they tip over a little bit easier than, in my opinion, they probably should. The color of the chassis and suspension almost match these rocks right now. That's kind of cool. I don't know if that was intended at, at all or not, but that's pretty cool. You can see the drivetrain, or the drive shaft spinning there as we try to push over these rocks. A few more rocks, it appears. In some ways, the engine sounds seem a little bland because from idling to uh, accelerating and hammering down the throttle, you don't hear a whole lot of tone difference.
All right, guys, so overall, I think this truck is actually really incredible. It has a lot of potential. There's a lot that, in my opinion, could be done to really improve on it between the interior and small things like the trailer hitch um, and getting the mirrors working properly. But what I'm going to end in saying is that this uh, the exterior and uh, the fit and finish and the drive feel, especially having the OP engine select and the off-road transmission, seems extremely balanced for what some people might have turned this truck into uh, with the same setup, look, aesthetic, and appeal. Um, and big shout out to you, buddy, for putting out this mod, making it free for everyone to use. It's really nice to see some newer gen trucks come into the mod community. And uh, incredible with the big dubs. And anyone else who participated in the mods come together for this because it really is spectacular. And as the Ford finally decided, um, this is the end of the video guys but thanks so much for tuning in don't forget to drop a like on the video make sure you drop a sub on the channel we'll catch you with the next one